With the note, uh, Jordan Peele has created this hat trick of unusual, powerful, and thrilling horror films, unlike anything I've ever seen before. What drew you guys to the project? I just had the, the audacity of it. I mean, like, the audacity of it is just Jordan, and it was the fact that we're in a different world. I mean, it was just like, it was like an amazing, like, experience. Do you know what I mean? And also working with Kiki Palm. That was another cool thing as well. I signed on immediately when I knew that I was going to be working with Daniel Kaluuya. Um, no, but yeah, I was excited to work with Jordan, and the film is like a huge blockbuster. Like, from the moment I read it on the page, I was like, okay, this is... Obviously, all of Jordan's films are extremely successful, but this one, it was like, yo, this is a cinematic masterpiece. So I was excited to be a part of that. Without spoiling too much, how was it to film some of the film's most um, horrific and terrifying scenes? It was challenging. It was challenging because it was not. There was not a lot there. Do you know what I mean it was kind of a lot of what it was doing with our imagination? So it was a it was a big um, kind of push in terms of our. Oh, I can't speak for key, but my skill sets in terms of like you are basically having to act and there's all right. There's you know the se the sequence when he runs into the shed, and then there's like and he and then there's the clouds coming up and then the horse goes like. That, none of that was there. <laughs> like, not one bit. The only thing that was there was me in the shed <laughs> and my clothes. <laughs> so, there, so, there, so, in order to do the whole scene. Imagine the clothes, yeah, Mark. Yeah, yeah, Like, two minutes of just, and there's no talking, and you have to kind of go over this whole sequence. You had to really stretch what what's possible, you know? And so, mm -hmm. um, and you know, it was a challenge, and it was, um, it was a great challenge, you know? Um, yeah. Did things that I've never done before. So you managed to convey this very um, natural, organic uh, sibling relationship in the film. How did you create that connection? I mean, we just went straight into it. No, no lollygagging. We just kind of jumped <laughs> right. We kind of jumped right in and not created. <laughs> we created a friendship. You know, Daniel hit me up before the film began, and he was like, "Yo, I, you know, I think you know, I would love for us to kind of break the ice before, you know, we get on set." And so we went and hang out, went to dinner. I grilled him. You know, I, I honestly am one of his number one fans. So I was like, "So tell me about this. Tell me about that." And he was real cool about she it. She wanted to know about me as a person. <laughs> she was looking into my soul. She said, oh, that's the door to your soul. Here, let me have a look. What's that? And what's this? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I still do this, but he's just used to it now. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we. I think that Jordan, he's a great... A, a, Another great part of him as a filmmaker is not just the stories he writes and, and things that he creates, but... His casting, he know, you know, he. It's very specific, more specific, I think, than even we realize. And I think he must have known. I mean, he's known Daniel for a really long time, and he's watched me and worked with me uh, before. I think he must have known that we would be good together.